please note, as always, these are just my opinion. So let me know what cars you, what your list is in the comments. All right, so welcome back, everybody, to Cars Diecasts Ranked. Now, you know that I'm not going to tackle all McQueen, because there's over 95 of those. No, I'm, I'm serious. That was not a joke. But, guys, I can still take a look at all 2017 Cars 3 McQueens, which does include, like, all those from 2017. Singles and two-packs box sets. Let's get started. So, guys, here's my opinion on this Chester Whipple filter. It's terrible. Go out and buy the Demo Derby one. Sure, you maybe like, two extra dollars. <laughs> or, depending on wherever you live, just a little bit extra money. But still, he's terrible. His expression, I really don't like it. So, I suggest you buy the Demo Derby one. Because, well, guys, as we'll see later on in the list, the Demo Derby one is, honestly, in my opinion, superior. One day, the geniuses at Pixar were sitting down at a table, uh trying to think of what Lightning McQueen would look like in their all-new Cars 3 movie. Then one guy suggested, Hey, how about regular McQueen, but with the flame from Cars 2? And John Laster was all like, Yeah, let's do that one! What I'm saying, guys, is that this is basically a generic old McQueen. That's kind of okay, but come on, Pixar. Rusty's McQueen should have been the McQueen prominently featured in Cars 3, and I know I'm not alone when I say that. Many people have commented on my videos saying that. This McQueen, the Beach McQueen, is pretty nice, but I feel like Mattel should have put some more sand on him. Wait a second, you're, you're saying that Primer McQueen is bad? No, not saying Primer McQueen is bad. Primer McQueen is awesome. As you'll see, I've ranked Primer McQueen very high up on the list. As you'll see in uh, a couple of minutes once I get to him. The reason why I'm talking about Primer McQueen now is because this section is on the 10-pack Primer McQueen, in which you have to spend a lot of money on a pack which includes all previously released characters except for this guy, and you could buy a better version of him in a single pack. Now, he's not matte paint, which I like. I kind of like how he's a bit shiny. And I kind of do like his smile, but should Primer McQueen really be smiling? No. And the phone accessory is... Eh. I just wish it didn't have Rusty and Dusty on it. Then you could really use it for a lot of stuff. Okay. This is a good Chester Whipple filter. While the other guy had literally... What was that guy's face on the other one? Honestly... His face looks nothing like McQueen, but this expression, in my opinion, looks like it's from right out of the movie. Plus, the rubber tires are removable, so you could reenact the scene in which Miss Fritter shoves the stop sign into McQueen's tire. And yeah, I think he just looks great. Plus, he's unique. A lot of Cars 3 McQueens really make sure that your McQueen diecast collection isn't just red. There's blues, grays, browns. Anyway, on to the next McQueen, because I cannot wrap up this segment. I don't know how, what to say to end it. You know what? D just cut to the next picture. I'm surprised. I surprised myself that I did not put this McQueen at, like, the number one spot. But I honestly really love this McQueen. There's just two issues. Number one, it's exclusive to Target, so you could only get it in a few countries. Number two, well, guys, number two is how ridiculous his eyes are. They're so massive compared to other eyes on other McQueens, but whatever. Awesome McQueen, though. And here we are, guys. The spot I talked about beforehand. Well, I basically foreshadowed that this guy would be high up on the list. Ladies and gentlemen, sad Primer McQueen. A face McQueen should have in his Primer state. And it honestly it looks pretty good. This is the single version. He's matte paint. I love the card art. It's awesome. That's why he's so high up on the list. This McQueen, guys, is near perfect. There's just one major issue. And that's not even with the diecast itself, himself. It's the fact that he's named Rusty's McQueen. Come on, Mattel, I think you've officially run out of names. Intro Ramon? Seriously, what kind of a name is that? You could have just called him Blue Ramon, but it doesn't really matter, guys. On to the second best McQueen. Fabulous McQueen, guys, is basically a car's masterpiece. So why isn't he number one? Well, he would be 
but there's one guy that beats him. And I know what you're thinking. Wait, this is all 2017 McQueens. Am I missing one? Did you put? Did you break the rule and put a 2018 McQueen as number one? Well, you see, you're missing one. Actually, you're missing three. Drum roll, please. Number one is... The Comic Con 3 pack is truly awesome. The metallic exclusive, the exclusive metallic Rusty's McQueen. This looks stunning and beautiful. Hopefully they use that same color paint for the new metallic Cars 3 McQueen. The only downsides are the other two cars in the pack, which really aren't too good, but they are meant to show how a diecast McQueen is made. So, there we go, guys. This McQueen is awesome. I'm not counting the other two. Those two blank McQueens, but honestly, if this guy is released as a single, I'm gonna be first in line to buy him. Well, actually, RC Cars 5 will be first in line to buy him, but. But, whatever, guys. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.